Get up, little darling. Get up. It's been a long, long time to drink since I had you by my side. So come on and stir it up, little darling. Stir it up. Gonna get some urine and stir it up. Gonna get it stirring up. Oh, where's that, man? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is it? What is it? Cylindrical. Mountain, Ormus Mountain. Okay, here's a pH paper. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see what the pH is of this one. It's pretty crappy, nothing. This one, it's not working. And this one, definitely not working. Oh, that's crap. Zoom back to look, and it's actually quite clear. I'm trying to get closer and you see what I see. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? To the camera it might be clear, but to me it's not clear. There's something in there. Look at it everywhere. Let's see if I got this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I can see it in the bottom there. Open that precipitate. And here we go. This is the Himalayan. I am feeling distant. Copper is going green. Copper wire is going green. But it is not entering the water. Alright, here's a different perspective. Oh, I reach with the other hand into the drawer. I push out a real clean UPS strip. Oh, I'm running out of these. Obviously, your one would be orange. There you go, you have orange, and then this sort of stuff which has some green in it, but you're in tin. And the other one, which is quite diluted, is very yellow. And this one is electrically charged, so it has a mild green on it. When I get a dark green on the PA side of the strip, and there we know. That it is nearing 10 pH. Nearing dropout. We are ring the dropout to the table. I have to let the smoke drop down to clear again. I muck with it, and now it's not settled. It looks like it's going to be red zone. Get the dogs out, get the rust out. Take too much and see if we can get a syringe in the brain. Not too much. That way, I'm quite used to quite a bit.